protest that lasted more than seven hours. I'm Christopher Cruz. This is Bloomberg Daybreak Weekend, our global look ahead at the top stories for investors in the coming week. I'm Bob Moon in New York. Coming up, a key policy announcement from the Bank of Japan. But first, we head to the UK, where the Bank of England makes a rate decision on Thursday and publishes revised economic projections. For more, let's head to London and bring in Bloomberg Daybreak Europe anchors, Roger Hearing and Caroline Hepker. Bob, bets on the Bank of England cutting interest rates as soon as November have gone up as the risk of a disorderly Brexit and weaker global growth weigh on the UK economy. But the Bank of England has to work with the current government policy of an orderly department from the EU. Well, for more, we're joined by Bloomberg's chief European economist, Jamie Murray. Jamie, we now have Boris Johnson left government. He's talked about leaving the EU by the end of October, do or die. The key risk to the economy remains a turbulent exit. So what do we expect to hear from the Bank of England on this central issue? Well, I expect the Bank of England will acknowledge quite clearly that the, the risk of a no-deal Brexit has risen. Uh, it'll be visible in financial markets. You can see it in asset prices, and they'll, they'll draw attention to that. Um, as for how they'll respond to it, I mean, they, they're talking, they will trot out the usual lines. They'll say what they do with interest rates depends on the balance of demand and supply and what Brexit does to that. Um, now, what we know, though, is that most policymakers probably would favour a cut uh, if, uh, if a hard Brexit occurred but not all have committed to that. Mm. Is there any doubt around the Bank of England's credibility, though, when it comes to the markets who, who are anticipating potentially this disorderly Brexit um, and perhaps the Bank of England not seeing it quite the same way? Well, I think there's, I think there's some consistency here, really, because the Bank of England are forecasting based, as we heard, on the, on the expectation that, that everything will turn out roughly OK. Markets, of course, are... are, are pricing in a hard Brexit, increasingly so. So this difference between what the Bank of England is communicating about what it might do and what markets see happening is it's just getting bigger as the no-deal Brexit risk rises. But Bloomberg uh, Economic Central scenario remains that the UK will depart with a deal, but only after a further extension. I mean, how likely is that? Um, I think it's pretty likely. I don't think the parliamentary arithmetic oh, works oh, for getting the, a, a deal done. Um, this time around, I suspect there will probably be a general election and then maybe something after that. Well, having said that, Mr Johnson's got all of these spending plans that he announced, uh, admittedly, during the campaign to become Prime Minister. Um, there's a risk, though, that that could really blow a big hole in the public finances, and that's even apart for, uh, from the risk of Brexit. Quite oh, right. So I, I think the interesting thing about his, his spending pledges are that the ones that we heard before his speech were about big tax cuts for the wealthy, 